What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana and I'm moving right along the Mars series and I'm going to discuss Mars and Virgo today. So if you're a Virgo by sun um, and that's your sun sign, your Mars is probably not going to be in Virgo. Um, but if your Mars is in Virgo natally, you can um, figure that out if you look at the birth chart calculators below. So what is Mars? Mars is aggression. It's what makes you angry. It's what makes you tick. It's, you know, how you are sexually, how you handle things when you're frustrated. Virgo is a sign that's known and an energy that's known for being obsessive, having a good eye for detail, being able to communicate really well. Productive sign. <clears throat> Virgo is also a productive sign. It rules health. It's naturally sixth house of health, ruled by Merc ruled by Mercury. When you put Mars in Virgo, you pour the you you put this planet that's all about war into a sign that doesn't like war because come on, Virgos don't like to ha get their hands that dirty because they're so afraid of germs. So Mars and Virgo isn't really that great, except at work or doing productive things. So Mars and Virgo has to keep themselves super busy, otherwise they get really nervous and they don't like not being productive. I'm gonna talk about first. I'm gonna talk about Mars and Virgo sexually. Think that sex is nothing but a physical act. There's nothing much more to it, and they really would rather stick with a partner that is has brains over looks if that makes sense and somebody who can help them be productive but when they really like somebody then they'll actually be the type of partner that will be trying to please you and take sex like a chore um and kind of just build a daily uh, just a routine off of it uh, Mars and Virgo wants to know and is very observant of what you like. They will, they're the kind of person that they like routinal things, right? So um, if they know that you like a certain position or they like a certain action during sex, they'll add it to their regimen and continue to do that because they know that you like it. Um, also, a Mars and Virgo is a type of uh, position where, say, you guys were to record yourselves and having sex. They'll feel really satisfied by watching the video and writing down what worked and what didn't so they can do it for next time. Sex has to be really routine. -o. Like, you go from this position to another position to another position until you guys finish. And that continues to say the same and that routine continues to stay the same you know for the rest of the sex encounters that you guys for, for the rest of the um relationship basically unless you tell them that you guys like something else and then they'll try to switch it up they're not really comfortable with it because they like the tried and true as be you know being earth signs uh, mars and virgo um also like somebody who has good hygiene so they may be, may be the type of people that would shower before and after sex really clean and they'll pro they probably even have a routine in the shower of how they fucking shower. Um, um, so yeah, they don't like germs, they don't like cooties, they don't like making a mess during sex unless you have a Mars and Virgo with a whole bunch of fire who, or Sagittarius who doesn't give a crap. So that's Mars and Virgo sexually. At the beginning of sex though, Mars and Virgo you know can be kind of really shy about it they are the versions obviously so they think sex of nothing more than just a physical thing that people do and a mars and virgo ultimately is gonna go for brains over looks or over somebody who's really sexual looking they want somebody to have something up here to keep them there so more with mars and virgo mars and virgo Virgo is naturally health, as I talked about earlier. So people with Mars and Virgo can 
devote a lot of their energy into meal planning. They take really, they take uh, what they put into their bodies really seriously and go crazy over it because Virgo is naturally digestion and the nervous system. Um, on top of that, they're a little bit OCD and insecure about their bodies. And Mars being a malefic planet can really activate that in Virgo and also being the planet of energy levels. And they, they can be really good bodybuilders. They can, uh, you know, count their macros, be really into nutrition, be really good personal trainers. Um, otherwise, if you have a Mars in Virgo that doesn't really care about their health that much because they have something else in their chart fucking that part up, they can devote a lot of their time into their work and they can devote a lot of energy into just getting things getting things done correctly. They have a routine. You rarely see them changing up their routine and they feel almost un un uncomfortable during the off days that they don't have to go to work, for example, and that fucks up their routine. Um, it kind of gives them this tick inside. With Mars and Virgo, I almost feel like when things don't go their same routine way, it feels like this itch that you guys that you guys can just not that you guys can't scratch. That's what I feel like it feels like because of all of the nervous energy that comes with Virgo energy. Also, so when a Mars and Virgo gets angry, they don't really blow up. They might be a little bit mean and direct and tell you your flaws or whatever and try to be a little bit blunt to you and attack you in that way but at the same time Mars and Virgo this is kind of funny so Virgo is nervousness as I discussed earlier when they get like angry or you know they actually get like a an invasion of all of this nervous energy and it can actually give them like really bad tummy aches or yeah it can actually give them like really bad tummy aches or make them want to go to the bathroom to you know do their thing like the tried and true as i mentioned earlier because they know that that will work they really hate when people take shortcuts to finish something because they don't know if it will work for sure and they want to avoid as many mistakes when they're doing their jobs as possible because they hate mistakes they love looking at the details they're super ocd about that oh, um the last thing i want to discuss with mars and virgo is that women who have their mars and virgo it's possible that they're attracted to men that obviously have good hygiene probably some fit looking bodybuilders that look like they take care of themselves they're attracted to men that can speak well that can communicate effectively they have a, a guy that has a clean cut look about the him kind of plain kind of boring but sexy for them somebody who is really hard working and you can see that they stay productive maybe some sexy type of doctor man or a sexy type of you know writer somebody like that Thank you for watching guys. Love you.